Hey everybody, it's Cheap Charlie, and for today, you're going to want a cool pair of work glasses like this. So if all fails, you can just carry on like it's just another normal day. So let's get into uh, today's project. This is a high buck one. Really went out of a limb on this one. Mrs. said, why don't you get something exciting? Always talks about, you know, the neighbor having these fancy vehicles and whatnot. Well, you know, I'm going to go and do something awesome. Let's leave it at that. So I put a new axle in, put some reinforcement in, some extra welds. Kind of cleaned it up, beefed it up. So this wheelbarrow's getting pretty, seeing it's better days. So I thought, well, you know, that's a lot of money. It's over $200. You get one of these, and it only lasts so long. So let's get something that's better and more funner. You know, the time I eat all this food to run this wheelbarrow, I think it's cheaper to pick a different alternative. So let's see what we can do. So when I got this car, it came with these plates, a punk driven car. So I said, you know what, this is fitting. It's gonna work out. And you know, it's a fairly decent car. You know, and my wife's always like, oh, get an SUV. You know, buy them side by side. Well, these SUVs can really only do one job. Side by sides, they're just for fun. A little bit of travel. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna make myself an all around, very versatile vehicle. You know, and this person here, you know, they start doing some body work. So it's like, yeah. So first you gotta do some calculations. Perfect. You want this uh, light here, it's going to become your cargo light. Uh, also, if you're out with the missus, you can have some mood lighting. So it's going to work out quite nicely. So you just got to make sure you don't want to get into any live wires and wreck this fine piece of machinery. It came with all these spare parts and more. So we got to bail that out. It's taking up precious cargo space. So right now we're on weight reduction mode. That's pretty nice there, you know, we'll put that on Kijiji. You know, we just gotta cut this cable. Yeah, sometimes you don't succeed at first, so try a different method. So that's top quality merchandise for Key Kijiji. I'll treat that with care. So we'll put that there. Later on we'll make a million dollars off of that. And carry on. So we got like a chicken scratch across there. Don't worry, this is all part of weight reduction. It's all going to work out. Usually. Most of the time. It'll work. Trust me. So it's working out. To save time, just going to cut here. And go right across. Just got to be careful as the... That light I was talking about, it's right about here. So we gotta be careful. We don't wanna wreck that or the whole project's done. Then you gotta quit. Call on sick for 10 weeks. Anyways, carry on. Let's keep this project positive. We're gonna complete it in style, as always. So, yeah. Apparently the uh, camera ran out of battery. So you wanna put an X. We want to start cutting. You know, there's a multiple tools on the market to uh, do this, you know. But yeah, I like my favorite. That there. Good old East Wing. This is how, anyways, yeah, you want that X. Learn by my mistakes. So it's just a little over. So it's a little wavy. We'll clean that up later. So the nice thing with this, we're going to cut here. And follow 
this wonderful body line. And at the back, we're going to do a little swoop up. Then we'll kind of roll it, make it nice so you can't cut yourself. It's going to work out really awesome. And we're going to do the same with along this edge. So wait and see, you'll see some awesomeness. So you're probably asking yourself, I don't have many tools. Well, either do I, friend. You know what? Crowbar. They work wonders. You can use them to do carpentry, if that's what you're into. But you can help take out your panels. Oh, they're awesome. That's a long, long family uh, secret there I'm cutting you in, and in on. So you know what? Oh yeah. So last night, ran out of the metal Sawzall blades. And I thought, why not? Let's try. We didn't have a designated shop monkey that was sober to get some more Sawzall blades. But it did cut this tin here, no problem. A little rough. But it didn't. Yeah, you know, so remember, make sure you always got a designated sober shop monkey to go run and get stuff if need be. But anyways, we're going to carry on. Did try these wood blades, but the pillar that's in behind here just wouldn't cut it. Just instantly doll up. But the tin, no problem. Here that was the metal Sawzall blade. There's nothing that sharp. Nothing. Well, let's carry on with this big project. I'll let you know, and you can see how the torch is going to work. Y'all hang tight. You'll see some cut in action. So, inside the quarter panel, they had this piece here. Then they had some more tin, some more layers of tin. Then that layer of tin there. So to the first glance, it doesn't look like there's much there. But anyways, that took a little bit to get it cut through, and that had it up there. So yeah, this uh, little car is actually built pretty tough, right there anyways. So let's carry on. Let's get her done. So, a little crooked, but that's okay. We'll get it cleaned up. Got it cut. And this is the real reason I took the trunk off. You got two good handles. One there and another handle there. So that works out awesome. You can just pull it off, toss it off to the side and carry on with the project. Well, it's a little rough, but use imagination. Look at all this cargo space. You know, whatever you're into, you wanna go hunting, you know, trail riding, it's awesome. If you got some bad weather, you can get out of the weather because you got that for the protection from the weather. You got some windows. It's a fantastic car. You can still have your heat. Oh yeah, it's awesome. So we cut this with the Sawzall. So it's not that bad, but for anybody, just in case, you can use the old door rubber. Uh, that's one option. Or you can do uh, this. I just folded it over. It's not too bad. If you want it, you can leave these seats. But I uh, want the maximum payload out of this buggy. So we're going to get rid of them. Uh, if you're going to be using this for uh, some off-roading, I get yourself some uh, roll bars, get them professionally installed, 
But like I said, we're going for payload with this awesome hot rod. So this has got a lot of, lot of uses. You know, this is going to be a fun vehicle. Nice and cheap. This way me and the, uh, the girlfriend, we can go out in style for those nice sunny days. And then, you know, for your Monday to Friday, it's going to be a work vehicle. Sweet. So here, things got a little wavy. But that's all right. That happens, right? So, I'm going to reuse this piece of trim. It's going to so I made this nice safety edge. I'll show you how. And just that fast, got a safety edge. It's all good. Nice and safe. So, came along quite nicely. So now we're going to get its first payload. We'll get it done. Well, that's close enough. That's a good, good enough color match for me as it's just going to be a wheelbarrow. And I'd like to thank these guys for making some awesome paint. Look at that. Doesn't that look like a million dollars? Blended in with the factory color just nicely. Got a couple little finishing touches to do. One little thing, we just got to get the uh, just inside the door jams paint it nicely. Oh yeah, get it painted nicely. There, nice and professional now. Just a little touch up. Oh, perfect. Check that out. Pristine. No runs. Well, it's first payload for my new wheelbarrow slash SUV. So yeah, gotta get rid of its uh, all these spare parts that the factory gave us. So nice of them. So we can get these recycled. There you go. It's a very cheap wheelbarrow slash SUV. Very handy. Well, thanks for watching today's video. Cheers.